I bought a new car. <laughs> Pants still right here, but I have bought a 350. I bought another one and I got another one coming. So now I am literally living my Nissan dream, aside from the Chevy shirt, but you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, this one is already here, motor's right here. And it came with a lot of parts, like a lot. So I have the motor right here, I already pulled it out of it. All of this is just kind of sitting there, like it's not really held on by anything. <laughs> but I got a spare set of heads, a spare trans. I got a whole new block and everything else in there. I got a spare motor here. I got a spare crank there front clip, another front clip over there. Like I, I just got a lot of things for this car. The cool part about this car, the reason why this car means something to me is it's actually one of my old cars. And uh, I had the opportunity to buy it at one point and uh, last year and I didn't get it because it like the guy was trying to get over and he didn't remember that I was the one that sold it to him. So he was asking too much for it in its current state. So I was just like, you know, maybe next time, you know, I kind of let it go. But I actually went to go buy another Z and the guy had my car behind his, behind his shed. And I was like, okay, well, you know, like I had no idea. Like the other motor that I have back there is actually one of the motors that I built. So when I saw the motor, I was like, hey, this came out of one of my cars. I know this motor. And he was like, yeah, well, you know, I got a set of uh, test pipes with it and everything. And I was just like, does it have an HKS exhaust on it? He was like, yeah. And I was like can I go see this car? And, and we go outside, we go around the back and there goes my old car, exactly how I left it. The guy didn't build it. He didn't work on it. He didn't do anything but buy it from me and leave it. And he wound up selling it to that guy. So that guy was like, you know, well, why don't you just take both of them off my hands? And I was like, okay, well, what's your price for both of them, all the parts and everything else? And he gave me a killer deal. I got both cars, both titles, you know, two motors, including the, not including the one that's with that car, you know, like a crap ton of parts for $3,000, three grand for both of those cars. Of course, I'm going to get it. So now I have to figure out what I'm going to do with all of these cars because I have Pan, I have this one, that one. Well, that's, that's going to be gone soon. So I'm going to have, I have Pan, this one, my truck, the other 350. Like I, I have, I have more cars than I have space. So I'm thinking about building like a detached garage or something, something that will give me the opportunity to actually, you know, put these cars somewhere because Pan's pretty much done. Her bumper is right there, if you're wondering. So she's pretty much done, but I don't want to leave her outside because obviously no hood and I don't want to put a tarp over her because I don't really trust tarps for real. And I don't want to run the risk of rain or something falling on her, but I also don't want to run the risk of this one getting messed up as well. So, what I'm probably going to do is just leave these two in here and um, just keep everything else outside until I get done with this one. No, this one's not going to be a drift car. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but right now I want to go ahead and get it cleaned up because it is disgusting. Well, aside from the, you know, falling off panels and everything, well, bumper that I just kind of laid up there. <laughs> All right. So a quick little walk around of it. Um, it's basically completely stock. Uh, the only thing really done is on the inside. They put like a uh, NRG hub on it and like some, I don't even know what bucket seats these are, but they have like bucket seats in it, which I mean, I don't really, I'm not a big fan of them, but I mean, seats are a simple fix. The paint looks terrible. So what I'm gonna do, like they had it wrapped, which you can kind of see some wrap right there of what I was pulling off, but like they just kind of, put a wrap on it and thought it was a great idea. And I mean, I guess it looked good when they first wrapped it, but now that they've taken it off, it kind of gives me an idea of what it looks like underneath. Um, it still does have the HKS on it with my Megan test pipes. It's gonna sound great. And uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's really nothing too special about it. Um, I'm gonna pull it out, which is why that's right there. I'm gonna pull this out and pressure wash the inside and get all the oil and everything off because from my understanding uh some kid had this car and he was just at a red light revving it to the moon like any other 350 owner and uh apparently it just stopped revving so that's pretty much where we're at with this
Now that we've got the motor moved from behind the car, the pressure, there it is, pressure washer ready, and everything taken off the front end of here, minus like my miscellaneous tools, the compressor and the condenser, power steering pump, which all those are all on that motor. So realistically, I can take them off. I have not depressurized my AC system, so I'm gonna leave that in there for now because I have no safe way to do it. I feel like it's the responsible thing to do except for pulling it outside, undoing the bolt and letting the atmosphere just go and just suck all of it up. I, I really don't wanna do that. I got the war machine ready to come down to about right here, get the straps, pull it up to where she's sitting now and then start to pressure wash all the oil out. Once I get it outside and kind of show y'all what I mean, like I can completely see why he slung a rod. I mean, it's pretty bad. 